When it comes to food in the Northwest, there's nothing more Northwest than salmon, right? But with the populations of Chinook dwindling, there is this big push to try to eat a more sustainable salmon. Yeah, so renowned chef Nick Novello is here from Pier 57 Miners Landing to convince us that sockeye is really the way to go. Yeah. First we of all, so welcome. Thank awesome. you for Thank being you here. Thank you so much. Why really do you love sockeye so much? Well, we love sockeye very much because it's super sustainable. Uh, this year was awesome. It was uh, fourth largest run on on a you know record. Nice. So biologists estimated to have uh, return about 40 million uh, sockeyes and this year we had uh, 56.5 million return um, okay. fourth largest um, it was actually the uh, largest uh, kind of monetary run for them so the fishermen did really well out nice. there you know so it's kind of a big ebb and flow you know those folks out there really uh, you know they make their living on that fishing season so they get you know they get one shot at it so it was a great shot it was really awesome to see oh that's great to hear isn't it what about the taste though people want to know about how does the taste of sockeye compare so you know it's really great i love sockeye salmon for a couple of reasons in the flavor profile it's it has great omega, it has great omegas, and it has great essential oils. Uh, my favorite thing that I enjoy about sockeye salmon is that floral flavor mm -hmm. of salmon, you know, that kind of the essence of salmon is really, really there. You know, so when you taste salmon with just a little bit of salt, squeeze a lemon, a little brush of butter, you know, you really get that essence of the salmon. You allow it to cook, skin down, and allow that fat to kind of bubble back inside that salmon, and it is absolutely fantastic, and you really can't get anything better. Oh my so, gosh. So you can tell us how to make salmon sockeye salmon three ways that's this right morning. yep and we okay. have our sockeye salmon three ways here this is actually in preparation for our uh, sockeye salmon event that we're doing with a uh, Bristol Bay sockeye um, so it's uh, it was you know it was on record it's the largest uh, run uh, in Alaska it's actually the 90% uh, of all salmon come from Alaska and uh, so in the United yeah. States, so it's absolutely fabulous. That's so, fabulous. Um, so what we're going to do today okay. is we have a couple of our dishes. This is all in preparation for our large uh, sockeye salmon event that we're going to have on the pier. We are looking at, we start on November 14th and we're going to go through uh, we start on October 14th, and we're going to go through <laughs> sure. November 30th, okay. right. um, and it's going to be these three dishes right here. So we have our crispy skinned salmon, and I know this was super exciting for you. So this is our crispy skinned salmon. Um, the way we prepare crispy skinned salmon is, is actually kind of one of my favorite ways to prepare salmon. Um, so what you do is you pull the salmon, and you give it a nice rub of salt before you uh, place okay. it into the pan, okay? So okay. you want to give it a little brace, okay? So okay. I grab the salmon in my hand like this. I'm just going to quickly interrupt you. We only have 60 seconds left. <laughs> okay. we got to hustle through. Grab that salmon quick like this, and I put it in my hand, and I give a quick abrasion of salt, and I put it down in the pan, and I actually start the salmon inside the pan and allow it to go to medium heat and it allows that to cook it. You want to keep it flat and allow the fat not to bubble and the skin to curl uh, and that's how you oh, get a truly crispy skin okay. fish. Nice. All right. So here, here number two, here. number two, we have our poke today. Um, so what we do with our poke here is, is we mix it here. So this is that red sockeye salmon. Mm -hmm. You have that really beautiful color here. We're going to add our tamari and fish sauce here. Okay. Gonna go ahead and mix that up. You can smell that instantly. Yeah. It's mixed oh, with a little yeah. bit of sesame oil and things of that nature. We have our sticky sushi rice here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put that right on top. And then you can kind of garnish it with whatever you like, but you have both colorful and flavorful things here on yeah, the table. Yeah, so what we do is you can garnish it as you like. One of the things I like to do is a little bit of green onions. Yeah. These are some tender young garbanzo beans that we oh, have yeah. here from the Pacific Northwest. Okay, we have our little bit of roasted carrots. Oh, oh that looks beautiful. amazing. Okay. Right, we got like 20 seconds awesome. left. Hit us with our third one. That looks and so good. Then, I'm so sorry. Okay. Then we have our classically grilled folks. So classically grilled is sockeye salmon grilled on, grilled on the grill, lightly brushed with butter, squeeze a lemon, wild Easy. rice peel off. And you grill That's it. That's beautiful too. Oh, look, look at that. Get the cross stripes on there. Love that. Awesome. Oh, we're so Aww. sorry we're out of time, but it's a great event you guys hey, are doing. Thanks thank so you much. so much. We really yeah. appreciate it. Thank Can you we eat so some of this during the commercial Oh, break? you guys got to eat this. We're I got smoked in. salmon for you too. Awesome. Oh, gosh. Uh, we're over time. We're out of time. We'll be back after this.